Welcome back everybody to the Meeple Marathon and our uh, second round of our Islebound playthrough using the solo variant from Breath of J on Board Game Geek. Uh, right now things are pretty close. I'd actually, oh, I don't know. The AI player has two buildings, 10 total points, but he's also got 14 points in uh, these renowned chip tokens. So he's got about 24 points right now. Plus a few extra. I, however, have got 18 right here, plus 7 is 25, so it's actually very close. Um, we finished up with an AI turn here, so it's going to be my turn. And we're going to go over here to Fell's Garden. I own Fell's Garden, so I don't need to uh, pay to enter. And it doesn't quite matter which direction I do these, so I'm going to go ahead and rest everyone and place an influence cube down. Okay, now I can do two, four, six, seven, eight. I need one more to be able to come down here and take Zillum from the other player. Um, but that's fine. And so while I'm here, I'm also going to do the event, which is reads, when you arrive at the docks, smoke billows from burning houses and villagers run this way and that. Mad Mask and his band of raiding, or are raiding our town, calls out a sailor as he leaps into the bay, swimming to get away. So in order to complete this, I have to complete a, um, a four or better. So I think what we're going to do here is we're going to bring Ecor into the fight. We're also going to bring this other sea serpent, which hopefully should get us at least three, and this should get us at least four. I'm going to be able to roll three dice automatically, but I also have this rested crew member who's going to give me an extra one. So I'm rolling four total dice here. All right, perfect. So I essentially can put that one die there on Igor and he does the job, but I use these other ones and remember I don't necessarily lose Igor. I have to recruit him back again, but no one else can. He's mine to recruit. So um, I completed this. I'm going to get three cubes on the influence track, which is what I needed. Boom, boom, boom. And now we're going to the grotto, which is... Oh, right here, <clears throat> which is actually where I was headed next. Interesting. Okay, so maybe I want to spend some of my influence points here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. You know what I'm wondering? If there is a rule on how many people I can recruit to my team. Um onto my ship. The rule book is not does not cover this very well here. Um, oh and below, player's home port. Nope, that doesn't cover it. Um, wave symbols, nope. None of this covers it. So um, they talk about here, let's find Underval. Let's see if Underval covers it. Players first rest their crew. Player may also hire a new crew member if the player does this. They must first pay one extra coin. Uh, then the player may choose from the three available crew members. The new crew member goes onto the player's ship and the main crew to the right. Um, draw a new crew member. So yeah. Hmm. It does not say how many people. There's no limit to the number of crew members a player may have. Okay, perfect. So I may actually go over here and recruit somebody so that I can move around the board a little quicker. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. So first we need to get the AI turn. Um, but now we kind of know what we're doing. Perfect. He was in my way over there. Three and three. Pretty sure that's higher pirates. All right, so he's got one, two, three, four, five, six. Still doesn't have nine. All right, so for me, I'm gonna go one, two, over here to Underval. And before I go in, I'm going to spend some cubes. So I only need six, because this guy right here is getting me one. 
So I'm actually gonna go right here like that. There's my six. I have taken over Underball, so I get seven coins. Boom, boom, so that's 11. And I get to rest everybody, but I don't need to, but I am gonna be able to gain someone for a coin cheaper. And I want, hmm, hmm. Do I want the extra dice or do I want the extra hand? This is interesting. I think I'm gonna take the extra hand. And I'll talk about that later. I got quite a full crew now. Okay. That's all I'm gonna do for my turn. He is going over here, and he is, we'll roll that one again, five. Buying the lowest cost building, which is any of these three, because again, he has less than four, so he's actually any, well no, he cannot afford the second lowest building. Okay, so he's only going to get one town, and it really, I may want this one in the future, so we'll just give him this one. Because then he cannot afford the next one. So these all go. There's a cheap town right there. Plus a coin when you rest. Alright. But I'm after the big stuff. Okay, so. But he is definitely in the lead now. VP wise. Okay. That was his turn. My turn is now going to be to head to the grotto I think yeah so here we go one two three oh yeah I didn't even need his symbol because I already had somebody with that symbol oh well that's fine I forgot to push these guys down as well okay um yes I wanted to come up here to be able to, hmm, yeah, don't have enough pirates to take him on. Okay, um, so I'm gonna have to pay a coin to enter, that's fine. Then I'm going to gain my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, technically, I'm only gonna gain six though, because that I will then reach my max. So there's my six fish. I've maxed out my hold, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the grotto here, which is take on a fight for two. I'm just going to go ahead and use two pirates to complete this. It says, you watch as pirates descend upon a nearby ship. You stopped to defend the victims. Um, okay, so we took care of this. That's going to give me two more influence. Boom, boom, right there. And I... Move this now to Borsham, which is down here. Okay. AI's turn. Three, he goes here, and five, he buys the lowest cost building again, which is this one. Okay. All right. Um, now, I think what we want to do is go down here to Zillum keep it moving. Oh, and I forgot to take two VP, boom, boom, when I went over here because of my town. Okay, so I'm thinking and pay two coins, yeah. No, I want to go to Stratic first. Make sure I secure this building here. That's what I was working towards, so. All right, we moved over to Stratic. It's free because I have this town. And so I'm simply going to spend all of the resources I have just collected to purchase this bad boy here. Um, all right, let's shift everything down. And now I could purchase a building. Let's see, maybe we want to purchase this one. Um, and this will essentially give us a free way to get Ecor back every time. Um, ooh, when you visit a town though, pay entry costs from the supply. That's also nice as well. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Interesting. What do I want to do? 
the bank. I think I'm gonna go for that one. So now from now on, basically, I don't need to spend any money to visit a town. Plus this is worth more at the end. So I had my one book, because I've got two. And so now I feel like I'm probably in the lead, um, but not by much. Okay, so let's push all this down again. Reveal a new building, okay. All right, they are going over here. And two is diplomacy. So he's gonna go after rock slide for nine, but he's only got six. So he can't afford it, so he simply puts a single cube on. Okay, so we built our building. We're halfway to victory. Um, we had talked about coming down here to Zillum to steal that away from him. I've also considered going over here to Farwall because bragging right now would do well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. So one, one, two. Okay, so I can't technically, hmm, if I use up all my cubes on influence, then I can't brag about it. So I guess I'll have to pay, but since I have this building, I pay from the supply, good. So I get to go in, now I get to brag. And I'm going to use this one here, so I gain one, and then I'm going to gain one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I get this, I get three wood, flip over this next one, ooh, a serpent, I like that. And so he's also going to get one, two, three, one, two, three, okay. So this goes away. The next brag is for books you own. Limit seven, who would have seven? I'm also gonna be able to gain a wood or two fish. Let's round things out and take two fish. Okay. Hmm, four means he's gonna come over here. And four means attack. So he's gonna go after the lowest attack value, which is just five. So he's getting two, four, six out of those. That covers this. He goes here and he's gonna get five money. Gives him nine total money. All right. Um, okay. So I would love to circle back to Farwald here, but maybe we'll come down to Borsham here and take Borsham away from him. So, one, two, come down to Borsham. And first, I'm going to out-influence him. So, three, six, nine, twelve. Okay, so I had to overpay because I'm only going to get ten coins for this, but that's fine. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and do this first. Um, I'm going to spend... Now, oh, I don't have this building yet. I should have purchased this building. Can I just purchase it now? Yes, as a free action at any point in time, you can build a building. So I'm gonna spend six money now that I have it, get this building under my control. I'm gonna move his pirates down here. I know it's off screen, but I'll keep it, keep you guys up to date on everything he's got. Um, okay. When you visit Borsham, plus one servant, that's gonna give me Ecor back. Then, um, what else? Now I can go ahead and um, purchase a pirate or a serpent. So let's purchase some more serpents. So let's say two and two, two, three, Purchase one, two, should we do it again? Yeah, why not? Boom, and boom, purchase another serpent. All right. Okay, and then we might as well go over here. Let's do boom and boom. I technically need to roll 
but I get to roll one, two, three dice. Okay, plenty enough to defeat everybody. Boom, and boom. All right. I did take over this town, so I get to go on two more, which is gonna give me another serpent back. This next one is four fish, so I feel like we're doing good now. We are starting to outpace the AI here. Okay. Um, so we did this. I got to three. We get two influence cubes on the track. Fortunately, they're the lowest ones. And this now goes to Stratic. All right. Okay, AI's turn. He is going over here, and he is paying for the most expensive building, which is, whoops, right now a seven. Yes, still seven. He does have seven, so he doesn't need to actually pay for it. He just gains it, and he gains all this money here, which officially gives him 13. So very close to purchasing this. Okay, and now he's got one, two, three, four, five buildings. So we are tied on the buildings. I do have one extra renowned ship ahead of him though, and I feel like my buildings are worth more. So we're doing good, but he does get a few extra points for these. Although I'm gonna get a few extra points for these because I have this building. So, ha ha. All right, uh, let's see, what do we wanna do now? Um, where do we want to go? I feel like I really just want to close this out now by purchasing some pretty nice buildings and maybe gaining some extra wood and uh, where can I go to get the most wood or fish? Lots of fish up there. Two, four, six, seven, if I'm lucky, I could get there. I feel like I might need one more pirate to do that though. Um, remember I get VP for taking over places using uh, diplomacy. There's only one more place left right here. I cannot get there right now because I only have five. So let's, yeah, let's do this. Let's get us some pirates. All right, so I can spend, I get my coin from the supply to pay to enter. I have to exhaust one person, okay. I get two pirates though, one, two, and I get one, two, three, wood. All right. Um, per unused two fish or unused one wood. So it's actually better to have wood at the end of the game than fish. Okay, his turn now, three, he's going right here, and six, he is buying what's the most expensive building, it's a six, he definitely has six money. All right, so I get to choose here, really doesn't matter to me. Okay, so all this comes down, and he's also going to get an extra coin here, that gives him 14 total money, and one, two, three, four, five, six buildings. Okay, so he's getting very close to jumping ahead of me here. All right. Um, hmm. Okay, so I could jump up to Stratic here and possibly build this other six. Um, or I could get this five, it's gonna give me three victory points, assuming I keep hold of Stratic and I can, yeah, let's do that. So, boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna have to pay for it, that's fine, because I really wanna go here. So, I have to exhaust my other diplomat. Um, I own Stratic though, so it's free to enter the town. Um, oh no. I'm not gonna be able to do this and that. Oh boy. Hold on, hold on. Hmm. 
go over there and brag first. He's going to outpace me then. Um, yeah, let's just do this. Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and build two wood, two fish to build this. We own Stratic. Unfortunately, I now I got rid of my two wood that I need to pay to do the thing at Stratic. So, um, all right. Yeah, that's going to need nine. So I need to get some more influence on the table. And Stratic was the best way to do it. Okay, we'll have to circle back around after we've gained some wood. So let's see here. Two. He's going to get out of my way, which is good. And six. He can, again, purchase the most expensive building. There is no coinage, so he only gets one. That's good, because it keeps him, he's only at 15 now, he hasn't gotten to 16. And, um, the most expensive building is here. So now he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's one building away from triggering the end of this game. Oh, let's see what comes out now bunch of low stuff all right so I need to go after high cost buildings here or really rake in the VP um, okay which is what we're about to do all right so I'm gonna come boom boom down here to Zillum right no oh yeah no because if I come here then I'm gonna have to pay him and that'll give him 16. No, we don't want to go there. Three, five, seven. Nah, yeah, I can go here. Okay, I'm gonna come over here. I own the town. I can rest up my two diplomats. Good. And put an influence down. Good, that's all I'm gonna need. All right, very quick turn, but that's fine. Uh, six means he actually backtracks up to there. And two means he's gonna try and use diplomacy on my Stratic for seven. And he can't do that, he's gonna steal Stratic from me. I've gotta go get it back. Okay. So, five, eight, uses all his cubes, but he's gonna boot me out of Stratic. He's also going to gain uh, five money, which means he can spend that money to buy this. Gains that, he's gonna gain four fish. Uh-oh. All right, let's see what this is, some money. It's less interesting to me. Okay, so that, I definitely have got to go get Stratic back. Question is whether I want to do it right now or in a minute. Oh, you know what, I could have come down here. I could have done the event first, then gotten Zillum. Okay, I'm gonna chance coming down here first and taking Zillum from him, hoping that he doesn't, oh, but shh, it's worth three VP at the end of the game. But this is gonna give me two right now and give me seven coins, which should allow me to purchase one of these buildings up here. Um, okay, let's risk it. All right, I'm gonna come down here. I'm going to do this, five, six, six, seven because he gets me one boot him out get seven coin for doing so all right um let's see i gain a fish or a wood let me gain the wood that i needed i thought about this earlier and now i can ex or no pay a fish or a wood yeah i don't want to do that i actually just wanted to come in on here steal this from him this is paying to get a book. I don't care about a book. I just want to do this event now where I can exhaust one of you, pay two coins, and Zillum reads, a notorious money lender meets with you. We've had some difficulties of late. Could you lend us some coin? It won't be spent on drinking or anything like that. You have my word. Sure. I get two influence, two coins on the influence track though. Yep, that's gonna give me enough to go up. And now this goes, stays at Zillum. Interesting. All right, let's see what he does here. Oh, but I'm gonna get one whole nother round. So I should be able to take care of it. All right, one, two, three, he moves over here. And one, two, three means he hires three pirates. 
However, I think this is going to give him nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, did he lose pirates somehow? Maybe he did. He must have. Okay. All right, so that's his turn. So my turn then is to come up here and say, haha, get out of here. Oh, no, wait. I have five exactly. I need seven. Oh, bonkers. Bonkers, bonkers, bonkers. I gotta go back to Fell's Garden again. Yep. Rest here. Put one on. And that's it. Because I can't stay at Zillum to do that. Um, Alright. So we're going to give him one more turn. Four means he goes across to where I am. And one means he's going to gain three influence cubes. One, two, three. Okay. So now... Should have done this before. I always have to remember that I can do this before I enter the town. So I'm gonna do it now so I can secure these higher spots than getting rid of these and then filling them in. So, oh, but where'd my freaking wood go? Oh, that's right. I came down here thinking I was, oh, I cannot go there. I need wood. So I'm gonna need to go over here and get me lots of wood. All right, um, I don't own that town, but maybe we should go ahead and take care of it. Although I only need two more buildings, so I'm gonna need some money if I'm gonna straight up purchase them. Yeah, so let's go ahead and take on Grenile here just to get some money. So two, four, six, seven, Eight, and this should put us over the top. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spend anyway. I don't get any points for them at the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven dice. All right. I just get one, five, or six here. I'm sitting pretty. Okay. So this right here gets me four. Um. And then these guys can get me an automatic two, so that's six, eight, ten. Yep, there we go. That was a three. I got another one right there. Okay, so easy peasy. Igor goes away for a while. I get nine coin. I'm just going to take two and make change. All right, I get to put my thing down here now uh, I don't get any VP for that um, did I get my VP for doing this one I can't remember all right it's fine um, but I'm gonna gain two wood plus one two three additional wood all right boom, boom, boom. lots of wood now okay his turn do I want hold on do I want to purchase something uh, Reroll one combat die. Do that, do that. Sure, why not? Go ahead and purchase this one for four money. And if he steals a town from me, I'm gonna get three VP. Okay, all right, I do want that one. Okay, let's see here. I need to die for him. Alright, one, two, three. He's chasing after me, which means it's going to be difficult. And he's going to build the lowest cost building, which is this one. Okay. Um, he gets to place an influence on the influence track. Since he's over four. Boom. Alright. So, he now has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight buildings. He has triggered the end game. But... That technically ends the round because everybody got a turn on that round. He, I was always going first, but I get one more turn. So we are certainly going to come over here and we're going to do as much as possible. Um, I'm going to do Stratic here first. Uh, so I'm going to pay... Wait, is it worth it at this point? No, because I don't need it. I've got six, seven right here. Okay, 
I don't need to do this and my wood is going to gain me more at the end of the game than anything else. So, I don't need to do that anymore because I'm not going to get any points for filling this up. Alright, uh, so we're going to ignore that. We are going to spend 2, 4, 6, and then he gets a 7 to boot this guy out. Boom, boom. I'm going to get 5 coins for that. Then, I don't think I can build anything with just wood. Ooh, I could build this one, but I'd rather get the 6. Um, so it doesn't matter which one I get. I can only afford this first one here, so we'll spend my 6. This will round out my 8th building. And he gets one more turn to see what he's going to do. Ooh, I also do get one, two more VP because I conquered that. Right? Okay, I allied with the town. Okay, last turn for the AI. Then we're going to count up the points. He stays put, and he hires pirates, which means he's going to get nine, exactly. And it says he's going to go after the highest... He already owns that one, so he's going to go... He needs 11, so two, four, six, eight. Yeah, because he's got nine pirates. So he kicks me out of here. He comes in. He's going to get nine coin. And that's it. But I get three VP because I lost a town. One, two, three. So I'm actually okay with that. Okay, that's it. That is the end of the game. Now we need to count up some points. So let's count his up first. Let me just remind myself of how he gets to score here because he gets a little bit extra. Um, okay, so let's start with buildings. Two, six is eight. That's 14, 21, 24, 30, 5, 40. Plus an additional 21 is 61. Plus four more is 65. Plus he gets an additional VP for every two fish or wood. So 66, 67, 68, 69. He gets an extra VP per money left here so 70 71 72 73 and his coins is gonna give him um, 73 83 85 a nice round 85 okay so help me remember 85 that is our goal here put these back up here all right, boom, 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 85. All right, so let's start with my buildings here. I've got 12, 20, 5, 31, 37, 50, 60, just in my buildings alone plus 21 is 81, so I'm feeling very confident here. Um, 81, 91, 92, 93. I also get an additional three, so that's 96. No, how many was it for Stratic? Additional three, so 96, plus one for every unused thing, so seven, eight, 100, one, two, three. 103, 108. I think none of the rest of these give me any end game stuff. Yep. So he put up a good fight, um, but I feel like my 12 and 13 point victory or buildings really pushed me over the edge. I had a lot of wood. I think I just played a really good game. That is the high, it's the first time I've ever scored over 100 points in a game of Islebound. So we'll just wrap our heads around the fact that I just performed at my best uh, on camera. <laughs> um, okay, so that was Islebound using the solo variant from the uh, from Breath of J on Board Game Geek. It's free to download. All you need is Islebound the game to be able to play. Uh, if you have any questions, 
please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel uh, because we do videos like this all the time. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.